Hi, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a secret ninja technique. Now, this particular technique has caused a little bit of controversy within the ninjutsu community. Um, not because of the translation of the particular text, it's because because the translation is actually quite clear. Uh, it's that the technique itself is very obscure. So people tend to um, discuss this particular technique and add their own thoughts and perceptions of the text itself. Now what I'm going to do is present you guys with all of the facts and everything from this text that you need and I want you guys, after you hear everything, I want you guys to go to the comment section and post your thoughts on what you think about this specific technique and this specific philosophy within traditional ninjutsu. Now this specific technique that we're going to talk about today comes from the Bonsen Shukai. Now the Bonsen Shukai is known as the Bible of Ninjutsu. It was written in 1676 by Fujibayashi Yasutake and it was the largest written text from that particular era. Now before I begin, I always give a shout out to all of my new viewers. So if this is the first video that you guys have seen of me, my name is Krista Jacobson. I'm the headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, which means School of the Warrior Way. We teach Koryu Ninjutsu and Koryu Bujutsu, so the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. This organization does have other areas of focus, such as reality-based self-defense, weapons training and tactics, survival skills, martial arts theory, thought, and philosophy, martial arts conditioning. If any of these topics interest you at all, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to click the bell. I do post two to three videos every single week, so if you're interested in any of those topics, please subscribe click the bell, and keep up with what we're doing. Now today we're going to be talking about a specific secret ninja technique found in the Bonsen Chukai. Now this particular philosophy that's written um, is quite controversial. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read you guys the quote, and I'm also going to talk about why it's controversial, because there's different trains of thought on this particular quote. I'm also going to give you guys all the facts that surround this particular quote. And after I give you guys everything in the video, I want you guys to make sure that you share your thoughts on the subject. So put your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, before I read you guys the quote, I want to add one more thing. Again, this particular quote is very clear. However, it's also very obscure. So what we need to focus on is what's not written in the quote because what's not written in the quote actually gives us greater insight as to what is being detailed in the Bonsen Shukai. Now in the Bonsen Shukai, it lists 10 reasons why you would hire a ninja. Now today we're only gonna be talking about one of those reasons, but nonetheless, in the Bonsen Shukai it says, if you need one of these 10 things done, you have to hire a ninja. Now, in the Bonsen Shukai, it says, It is possible to kill the enemy general with Shinobi no Jitsu, and if this is done, the benefit will be immeasurable. There is a secret in Shinobi no Jitsu on the skills required to kill the enemy's commander. In a case where your ninja can kill the enemy general, then it will bring an enormous benefit as the enemy will submit without fighting. It is possible to kill the enemy commander using Shinobi no Jitsu, and if you do this, the benefit will be immeasurable. How can that be controversial? Well, in the ninja community, there are many people who believe that the ninja don't really uh, interact uh, with combative tactics. They're just simply spies. They go on spam people, they get information, they take it back to their lord. They run in, they, they catch something on fire, run back to their lord. Uh, they dress up as a beggar or a monk and they, you know, they spy, they gather information, or maybe they uh, steal documents and scrolls, run back to their lord. There are a significant amount of people in the ninja community that really tend to focus on the ninja not being a um, agent that deals with combative tactics. But then there's the other side of the group that agrees that yes, ninja were spies. Uh, they did spy on people. They used disguise. They used deception. They, they, they did go take documents and scrolls. Or the other side doesn't disagree that ninja were spies. However, they also feel that they were also combative military soldiers. They, they did fight, they were trained in fighting techniques, they were tra trained in combative techniques, and they were more than just someone who went in, spied, and then ran back to the Lord. Now this particular quote right here really kind of pulls uh, the idea of ninjutsu to one side, at least being combative to a certain degree, over the other. It's also important to note that in the Ban Senshikai, Fujibayashi Yasutake talks about many things and many arts of war. He talks about Kenjutsu, he talks about Iaijutsu, which is swordsmanship. He even says that ninjas should be trained in swordsmanship. He talks about spearsmanship. He talks about archery. He even lists different types of arrows and fire arrows. So the Bonsen Shukai itself 
Fujibayashi Yasutake is talking about a variety of different things. He talks about Kenjutsu, Iaijutsu, Sojutsu, which is spearmanship, Kyujutsu, which is archery. He talks about all those things. Now in the Bonsen Shukai it says, it's possible for a ninja to kill the enemy commander using Shinobi no Jutsu. That's what it says. It does not say it's possible for a ninja to kill the enemy commander using Kenjutsu. It did not say it's possible for a ninja to kill the enemy commander using Iaijutsu. It did not say it's possible for a ninja to kill the enemy commander using Sojutsu or spearmanship. It did not say it's possible for a ninja to kill the enemy commander using Kyujutsu or archery. It didn't say that. He talks about swordsmanship in the Bonsen Shikai. Kenjutsu, Iaijutsu, he talks about spearmanship, he talks about archery, he lists lots of different weapons and tools, but he specifically says it's possible to kill the enemy commander using Shinobi no Jitsu. So clearly, Shinobi no Jitsu is combative in certain areas. It's not just in the realm of spying, because you cannot eliminate a target by watching them. You cannot eliminate a target by walking around an area, gathering information, and taking it back to your lord. The only way for a ninja to get close to the enemy commander and eliminate the target, they have to use, at some level, combative tactics. Now, there are those that will say things like, well, you know, it's only mentioned a few times in the Bon Shikai. It's not really talked about in depth. Uh, it's probably not something that's um, a major aspect of ninjutsu, uh, you know, trying to um, associate assassin with ninja. What they're trying to do is take away the idea of an assassin, you know, that type of thing, right? But they're dancing on an idea that's just not simply accurate. In the Bon Senshu Kai, it lists the 10 reasons why you would hire a ninja. And one of the reasons you would hire a ninja is to use Shinobi no Jitsu to assassinate the enemy general. Period. Now this concept of using Shinobi no Jitsu to eliminate an enemy target, right? Um, this does spark a lot of debate because uh, many people are part of various different organizations and each organization has their own principles and strategies and philosophies that they'd like to teach. And they base those off of their own scrolls and din show and things that they have. So uh, lots of people read things and they start putting things together in the way that they see it. Remember, perception is always based on perspective, right? So in previous videos, I've talked about the different people who have inherited ninja scrolls, they've started their own organizations, and they teach ninjutsu from those said scrolls. We've talked about Masa Akiatsumi of the Bujinkan, Shoto Tanamura of the Genbukan, uh, Jinichi Kawakami of Banryu, and then myself from Tamoryu. There's also people all over the world who are not part of those organizations, but they study ninjutsu, and they read some of the ancient scrolls and dinsho and translation of those scrolls, and because of their research, they come up with their own perception based on their perspective. So my point is, depending on your experience with ninjutsu, whether it's the training of ninjutsu or the study of ninjutsu, everyone's perception is gonna be different based on their perspective. Clearly, in the Budodikai, I have hundreds of scrolls that I've acquired over the years. I have the scrolls I inherited from my master, as I'm the 21st Soke of Tomoryu. But what do you guys think? I would really like to know all of your guys' thoughts on this particular subject, because there really are people that believe that ninjutsu, uh, shinobi no jutsu, is only spying. It's only gathering information and getting back to your lord, or espionage, or things, uh, deception, or to create chaos and uh, then get everything back to the lord, right? It's not in the realm of combat. So what I would like you guys to do is please put your thoughts on the subject and what do you think? When Fujibayashi is saying it's possible to kill the enemy commander using Shinobi no Jitsu, what do you think he means by that? And what tactics do you think would be employed to pull off that particular technique. So there's today's video on a secret ninja technique. Now, this information again comes from the Bon Senshu Kai written in 1676 by Fujibayashi Yasutake. Again, the Bon Senshu Kai is known as the Bible of Ninjutsu. Now, the quote that I read came from the English translation, and that translation is called The Book of Ninja. And this particular book here was written by Anthony Cummins and Yoshi Minami. If you're interested in buying this particular book, all the information as well as a link will be below in the video description. Now, if you guys are interested in studying an authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu, please check out my website at budodunijutsu.com. There you guys can see the seven traditions, the different principles and strategies and philosophies that we teach. If you don't live next to one of our schools, you can always join the Budodukai online ninjutsu dojo and start training with us that way. 
So thank you guys very much for your love and support. I deeply appreciate it. Until next time, take care, be safe, and good luck in your journey of Budo. Bye.